Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Illearn from CZT Annette Rumpler. I think that's how you pronounce it, or I learn maybe. We'll go with Illearn. All right, uh, super neat tangle. And, um, and a recent, oh, and maybe this was just today, released from uh, Tangle Patterns. And uh, I, don't, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really cute. All right. So, starts off with a curved line. And of course, you know, whatever direction you want to go with it, we're going to do like this. And then, towards the top, we're going to make like kind of like a curvy Y. And you'll see why in a bit um, when we uh, fill in the other parts you'll want to make sure to make sure to have some curve but you know we'll wait till the end here and then I'll you know give some give some thoughts and then coming from this this curve line or stem another curve line and I was I was finding myself challenged making these parts kind of even and curvy for the last step so you can always go back and, and add some if you want, of course. All right. Then, you know, and it just, it's a nice organic. It keeps growing from itself. And that's nice. And then we'll put another one over here. Whoops. Let's just curve it. <laughs> All right. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So the reason I was mentioning about the curve lines is because the next step is that we're going to add some orbs and we're going to add two or one to each underside of the ends of these it kind of um kind of looks like it looks like uh for a minute it looks like eyes and as uh, linda farmer on tangle patterns put because uh, annette didn't have a there wasn't a, a story behind the tangle um besides it, it is just really really neat but it reminded her of, of Halloween and of bats and I'm like oh I can totally see that or you know it could be well it, it, except for the last step I mean it, it it does have a bit of a Halloween nature to it but if you take a look at the for more inspiration link uh, which you know I'll probably put uh, I'll probably put both links in there just so that way you don't have to find it here but I also but I want to make sure to link to Tangle patterns because that's where we found it and I want to make sure to always like to do that if that's where I found it that's where the link will go and then the additional one will just be you know for for quick but when you look at Annette's blog um, I don't I'm not sure if that was the inspiration or oops I forgot to put the ones on top here um, or uh, maybe if it was uh, a pattern that was the inspiration I'm not sure and so this, this, uh, I mean, you could totally take it in that Halloween sense because it's like the third eye up there. All right. Last step is we're going to do some rounding. And that's, so coming from here, going to the outside of both of these. And this is where, you know, if you need to course correct, then I'm going to make that a little rounder. If you needed to extend these, then you certainly could. And we'll do all those first. Yeah, and see, like right here, it's just it's a little, a little stubby. So that makes it easy. <laughs> yeah. So part of me says, don't worry about it because you can fix it afterwards. But at the same time, you know, I kind of like to, to do it at the same time. So as I'm doing that part of the tangle, I'd like to not have to always feel like I have to go back and adjust. I like knowing, oh, I can do that if I need to. All right. And then we can put some roundings in these corners because she did uh, put that on her step out also. And then you could, and of course you can decide, you know, where, where do you want that? Like, like here where it kind of goes in two directions you could just do it on one you could or you could do it on both sides up to you artistic license 
But that's it, you know, if I'm feeling like, let's do it, let's do, that's what's fun with the organic ones like this that grow on, where it grows on itself. Because then you can just add, when you feel like you see a hole or something, it's like, no, we need to have something there. Just to be a bit more rounded. There we go. I'm looking at Annette's um, work. You know, actually, let, while, while, while we're talking, let me stretch over here and take a peek. If I lose the mic, this is sometimes, um, and, and I thank you to those that have put on, um, on the comments, hey, it's hard to hear you. Sometimes if I move my mouth just right out of the direction of the mic, then that's what happens. But I wanted to see here. Okay. No. Yeah. It, um. It was just I want what here's what I wanted to see. Did she do some rounding on this side, and not necessarily? It looks like uh, in some cases, the orb is maybe a little bit more close to this. You know, uh, to the Y part. But the, you know what's nice is again you can course correct. To get it how you want it, but take take a look at that, and uh, it's it. Uh, that's why I list it as for more inspiration because that way you can see the for more inspiration. But um, meat tangle, and uh, I'm gonna save this for. Uh, I'm gonna do a. Uh, it'll be a paid class, I'm thinking, for sure. Uh, on spooky slash autumn tangles, that'll be uh, the, probably our event next month and I'm going to make sure that this one is on the list because because it could go either way honestly. All right so if you enjoyed this and I hope you did would love to have a, uh, a thumbs up feel free to share it and um, I'm just realizing we, we didn't there's no there's not really shading for this one so much although you could do this I'll do this I'll do this as we're as we're talking out like the drop shadow idea. And, um, which is just a little bit off, off and, and down one, down one, that, that's how my brain thinks of it, down one. And it doesn't, doesn't have to be anything exact, you just kind of, you know, just make it kind of sketchy, sort of. At the same time. You could, and maybe I'll try that right there. You know, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this, and then, and, I, and I'll finish my spiel, which I know y'all just, you know, you wait for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Let's, oh, yeah, yeah. I have to get that, the top one in there, because it's just kind of a shadow, so it doesn't need to be exact at all. Another thing that one could do is let's just put some graphite there. You know, and I you could do that like on all of these like undersides type of thing. So you have a couple options there. I always think it looks neat when you put the graphite like this and then um, as long as you're you know, not going over, it just creates this neat effect that I like. It, it looks cool. So a couple options right there. So... <laughs> Hopefully you didn't cut off right away as soon as I started the spiel. And if you, um, if you didn't, thank you. I needed to put up, uh, but wait, there's more <laughs> with these stick ones. Sometimes that's kind of, uh, you know, you for forget. Oh, and, I'm, and I forgot an orb here too. You were probably yelling at the screen. Heather, you forgot this the one here. So, although that does look kind of neat, doesn't it? That looks like an evil. All right. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, leave comments. I appreciate all of that. Uh, in the description section, I mention the um, the links to the step outs. There's ways to connect with me. If you're interested in classes, that is on the website. Um, come check us out for free. I do a lot of free classes, um, and uh, and I, I just have a couple a month that are that are have a fee. So would love to have you join us and uh, have fun tangling. All right, so with that,
thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.